anybody out there that's watching this video, my name is Dylan. This is uh, Matt, my good friend, and today we're going to be cooking some jackfruit for you guys. Um, so Matt, have you ever cooked with jackfruit before? No, definitely not. Uh, I feel like I've, I've had it. I don't remember when or where, but I, I definitely feel like I've had it before. Uh, it was, honestly, it was probably me that made it for you. Yeah, I feel like but, that, uh, that could have happened. Um, but no, I, and I'm excited to cook it. I, I don't know. It kind of looks like, almost looks like mushroom to me, even though I know it's called jackfruit. Fruit. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, it's a, uh, I think it's uh, from Thailand, I think. Uh, but jackfruit, oh. as I'm sure anybody that's watching this video has heard of jackfruit by now, it's a really porous fruit that's very mild. It's not very sweet. Um, it kind of has like a, a texture. I mean, it's, it's really similar to meat, and that's why we're going to be using it today. Um, what are we, what are we making today, by the way, actually? What's like the, Oh, so this is going to be uh, like jackfruit carnitas. So, oh. and the cool thing is that once you cook the jackfruit and it gets, it's starting to get uh, cooked and hot, it will absorb pretty much any spice that you put into it, just like mushrooms or like a lot of other vegetables. And it will be really similar to like carnitas and it's really good and we're going to make some tacos out of it. Um, so first thing is, uh, yeah, you get a can of young jackfruit. Um, this is in brine. It's a, it also comes in water. Um, but don't get it in syrup. I've never seen it, but I've heard people online to say don't get it in syrup because we don't want it to be syrupy or sweet or anything. Mm. And this is from Trader Joe's, and it was like two bucks for a can of this or three bucks or something like that. But you can find it anywhere, really. And um, so how much? So this is one can right here. How many tacos will that make? Is that enough for just one person? Uh, I mean, it depends on like how big the tortillas you make, or if you even okay. want to have it as tacos. It's just really like this will probably be good enough for you know two to three people mm -hmm. or if it's one person you'll have leftovers but it's like a 20 ounce can and it's a nice you know it's a nice pile it comes in bigger chunks uh kind of like this but mm -hmm. the way mm -hmm. i like to prepare it of course you know anybody that's watching this video you know it, it's up to you it's your kitchen do what you want but i like to you know cut it up a little bit so it's a little bit more manageable and we'll do that to these two right here just you know some more manageable and as it cooks you'll see it's it kind of has like a stringy mushroomy texture so that's where people get like that pulled pork effect from and uh so we got this pan hot right here so we might as well start uh cooking right now let's do it yeah so obviously you want to lube up the pan first we just have some simple mm -hmm. olive oil and let's see hopefully it won't oh no good temperature cool all right and we're just gonna let that get hot for a second and you know, get it into a nice pile there. Mm -hmm. And we're using cast iron today because that's all I had. We don't have a, a kitchen here at the studio, so I pretty much brought my camping setup. Um, so this cast iron's gonna get really hot, actually. Mm -hmm. All right, and then give it a nice little thing like that. And then you know, you probably want to put it on like a medium heat or whatever you would normally do if you if you cook meat at home or anything really. You know, you want it like medium heat, mm. not you don't want to burn it. So right sure. in the middle there. Uh, yeah. So while that's, are you going to throw that in right now? Are you throwing that in? Yeah, yeah. Ready? First things first. Oh, okay, let's just cool. throw it right, in. Let's do it. Um, okay. Well, actually, before I start, um, there's a couple key ingredients here. Yeah, let's um, go through that. If you're familiar with marinating anything, um, you know, a lot of countries, not just Latin American countries, but all over the world, citrus is, you know, a great base um, for marinating anything. So we have orange juice and lime juice as our citrus base. So and is it like marinating meat where like the citrus kind of makes it a little bit more like tender, I guess? Yeah, more? yeah. Okay, the, the citric acid or whatever, yeah, the citric mm -hmm. acid will uh, help break down whatever. And it'll, it'll make it more tender and it'll make it more porous. It'll open it up a little bit. Can I try yeah. a little bit of this just raw? I, For I, sure, yeah. Okay. It's getting a little smoky here. I don't think any sprinklers will go off here today. Oh, it kind of tastes like... um. Almost like a lychee kind of in a way, but like a more yeah. subdued kind of like... Mild, right? Mild or lychee. Yeah. Right, Different texture yeah. too, of course. We're gonna toss Ooh. it on here, guys. Whoa. All right. Cool. So you're Make talking sure. you're talking about marinating. Did you already mm -hmm. marinate this jackfruit here? Or no, gonna... just right out of the can. Um, oh, so you marinate it while you're cooking it. Is that what you... Well, yeah, it's not like really a marinade, but we're just gonna put the, lick, the, the fruit juice and it's mm -hmm. just gonna cook mm -hmm. and cook out of it, really. Sure. And uh, you're gonna, definitely important, drain the liquid out of here and pat it dry with a towel if you want or just let it sit for a minute. But um, you don't want any of that liquid or the brine sure. in and there. Sure, and it's like cooking meat. I mean, if you're cooking meat, you want to dry it off, right, before you give it a good fry. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 
And again, guys, I can't, I can't say this enough. We're not experts. I'm not a chef. Matt's mm -hmm. not a chef. We just like to eat. Mm -hmm. um, and we pretty much just want to show you guys that, you know, anybody can eat healthy or, you know, if you want to start eating less meat. Um, yeah. You know, things like this is a great way to start. You can find jackfruit anywhere these days. A lot of restaurants have it too. <laughs> All right, so once you get it nice and, uh, you know, a little bit heated through, and we're just going to go ahead and real quick, uh, my salt is right Ooh, here. Okay. Is just, any, you know, what's up? I'm sorry, you can, I cut you off. No, no worries. We're just going to give it a quick okay. little salt. I'm just using simple sea salt. It's coarse. You can use whatever. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then I guess first things first, we're going to get a little bit of this OJ in there just oh. to get some liquid going. And this is just regular OJ. I just got a little thing of it from the store. And let that bubble for a while. And so we have the, uh, these spices right here, guys. Um, they're simple spices. If you don't have spices in your pantry, just do yourself a favor, spend 20 bucks at the store mm -hmm. and just get some spices. Um, I mean, if you want to start cooking, that's like yeah. the basis of everything. Um, or just so, you know, go to your mom's house and just say, hey mom, and just borrow some, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, just jack right? some spices from your just mom. Your mom has from, spices. Jack some spices from your mom, okay? <laughs> She doesn't yeah. need them. But for today, uh, we are going to be using oregano. Mm -hmm. uh, what's this? Uh, coriander, chili powder, cayenne, cumin, black pepper, uh, salt, and some nutritional yeast just to give it that extra little whatever. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Yeast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. cool. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I thought yeast, I'm, I Again, I'm not a cook. I thought yeast was for, like, cooking and bake. I'm sorry. I thought yeast was for, like, baking, no? Is it also for just... No, this is Bragg's nu Nutritional Yeast. If you guys are okay. familiar with this kind of thing, you know what Bragg. Bragg's is. Uh, but, yeah, nutritional yeast, um, it kind of gives food, uh, if you're trying to go for plant-based or just no dairy, it'll give your food, like, a little bit more cheesiness. Um, oh. It just kind of adds a little X factor to whatever you're cooking. Mm. And so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start adding, um, I like to use cumin as the first thing I put in. I literally put cumin in everything I cook and we're eyeballing today guys. So just, if okay. you like a lot of spice, go ahead, spice it up. If you don't like using a lot of spice, whatever you want. But I just like to get a nice little base layer okay. of cumin. And then we'll save the cayenne for just like for, for a minute. Chili powder, very important. Here's a stupid question. What's the difference between chili powder and cayenne? I don't... Well, chili powder, uh, again, I'm not an expert. Um, okay, sorry. Chili powder is just, uh, it's just a not spicy ground up dried chili. Um, it just gives it, you know, a lot of Mexican or Latin American foods use this as a base in their spice. Um, it just gives it like a chili taste, I guess. It's not spicy at all, so don't be afraid to use a lot of it. It's not spicy at all? Okay. No, the cayenne, it, the cayenne is what's going to give us. Is it spice. weird if I taste some of this? I'm sorry. Is this going to derail the... <laughs> no, by all means, Matt. It's not spicy. Yeah. Oh, that's not spicy. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to add some coriander. Again, if you guys are looking very closely, you'll obviously see that we are not measuring. And while Dylan's cooking, I'm going to try some of the cayenne and do a real scientific spice test. That's, right. that's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, okay. you know, obviously mix it up, get it all coated there. I'm kind of hungry, so. Yeah. <laughs> so that was the coriander. And we're gonna add oregano. A lot of people are familiar with oregano for Italian dishes, but it's oh. actually, whoops, I didn't open this one. Sorry. Um, hold on. There we go. Yeah, oregano. A lot of people are familiar with this as like, you know, for putting on pizza or just mm -hmm. Italian sauces mm -hmm. and whatever, but. Um, or uh, when, you, uh, when you're trying to buy weed in middle school and uh, you buy a bag of oregano instead? Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, oregano is uh, in a lot of bases for a lot of Latin American foods. Um, and so we're just going to put a lot in there. And I found that oregano, when you're cooking with it and it's dried and it's not fresh, you're going to want to use more than you think because it's a very light flavor. And when you're cooking on it with a hot pan, a lot of the flavor is going to cook out of it. Mm. So feel free to be liberal with it. Um, okay, so we're just going to give it a stir here. Okay. Yeah. And then, you know, if you start wanting to, you can, like, 
you know, with whatever spatula or wooden spoon you're using. You know, if you want it chunky, leave it chunky, but I like to kind of work it a little bit because you can start seeing, I'll show you guys right here. You'll start to see, ow, it's hot. Kind of like a pulled pork texture happening Whoa. right here. And that's just, we've had it in the pan for less than five minutes and it's already doing that. Oh, I and wanted to eat that. Okay, I'll eat here, this. Eat it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna taste them too, just to see where we're at. Whoa. Yeah, it's already absorbing the flavor, right? Yeah. Yeah. The texture's already kind of changed a little bit. Yeah, so you just keep cooking it. It's like mushrooms. You know, you can keep cooking it, keep cooking it. It's really hard to overcook. Not to say you can't overcook it, because you can burn anything. But you can cook this for a while, and it'll just kind of just get more tender until it reaches a point of no return, then you're kind of screwed. Um, and now we're gonna add the lime juice. Again, there's really no order in which you wanna do this. Mm. I'm not a professional. We're just gonna add the lime juice here. This is the juice of four limes. And just to be extra cool about it, Whoa. I have one more for you guys so you can see the visual of it. Here, can I cut it in half? Cause I'm not doing oh, anything. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, hell. and just juice that yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. And while he's doing that, I totally forgot, but you're gonna wanna add the garlic. We have three cloves of garlic right here. I'm gonna step around you real quick. And it's gonna cook for a while longer, so you can just put the garlic in there whenever you want. A lot of people like to make the garlic the first thing they this do. This is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, just toss it, there's a trash can right Oh, there. right. There. there you go, there you go, man. Yeah. I wanna do something. Yeah, boy. Oh, you're gonna be making tortillas. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Yep, and as you can see, guys, it's starting to take on it. Like, to me, it looks like chicken right now. Yeah, um, totally looks like chicken. Yeah. And I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit on this thing so it cooks a little bit more vigorously. Yeah, there's still a little bit of liquid in there. You probably Yeah, we're going to cook it off out. eventually as okay. you increase the temperature. Um, let's see, we added all these spices. Oh, yeah, it's time to add the nooch. Nooch. Nutritional yeast. Oh, nooch. I knew that. There you go. And I'm just kind of... Matt, do you want to give that a few good shakes in there? Okay. Do I do the, the open side or do I do the, the uh, whole... I would do the, the whole side. The whole there side. you go. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One, yeah. two, three. Just say when. Yeah, give it one more. There you go. All right. Yeah. I'm going right. to like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try some of this too. I might as well. I've never seen this before in my life. Am it's, I allowed to eat this by itself? Yeah, for sure. Are you sure? Whoa! Cheesy, right? I was gonna say it tastes like cornflakes, but sure, cheesy. <laughs> well, it is, it's a really like... Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. It's yeah. a different kind of flavor, but when it melds with other spices and what you're, what you're adding it to, it'll give it like a weird cheesy sure. yeah, X no, factor could, to it. I could see that. Yeah, I got a little. I got a little mix of cayenne and chili pepper and uh, yeast on this cutting board now. There you go. Patrick, you want to get a close up of this right now, of the jackfruit cooking? There you go. Looks like chicken, right? So is jackfruit really legitimately a fruit? Because don't don't fruit have to have seeds in it? I don't. There are seeds. seeds when you oh. if you buy a jackfruit. Um, oh whole, right, because this is. Yeah, it's already canned. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if you buy it whole, then there are these like pretty big seeds. They're like the size of macadamia nuts, kind of. Ooh. And you'll like, you'll obviously see them, and they're hard. You can't eat them. So if you ever do buy a whole so jackfruit, wait. what's up? So maybe these are kind of like I said they tasted like lychee earlier. It kind of it's does, probably that, in the same family. Now that I to be think honest. about it, yeah, it looks like a yeah. giant lychee. All right, we're gonna taste this again, guys. See if we need more salt or anything. Ooh, the lime really comes through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Again, I used about four limes, I think, but or five limes, actually. This but, I mean, if you love that citrus flavor, just keep on adding it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to start, I'm going to add more orange juice. Okay. Again, guys, if you're watching this video, just add it to your own taste. Different people like different measurements. So you can cut this part out, but you're not posting a recipe for this. Huh? Are you going to post a recipe for this after? I don't know. Okay. We'll figure it out. All right. Yeah, I'll post the basic uh, guidelines for you guys. Right. Um, but again, you know, the kitchen is like your domain. So mm -hmm. I'm just giving you a guideline of what I like. Um, yeah. You can literally put any type of spice blend you want. Uh, and the jackfruit's just going to absorb it. And you'll have 
you know, a different spice blended jackfruit. And we're sure. doing like a more Latin American flair right now because we're gonna be making tacos. I don't know if I mentioned this already, mm -hmm. but this is from Trader Joe's. Um, and they last, you know, the can obviously lasts for a long time. So, you know, if you were gonna make a chicken dish or a pork dish and you, for some reason, decide that you don't wanna eat the meat, then just put some jackfruit in there. Mm. All right, so it's looking pretty good now, guys. I think we can lower the heat on yeah, this. Yeah, that is legitimately just looking like, it looks like carnitas to me. Yeah, it looks like chopped up pork, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's like the crazy part about jackfruit um, that people in other countries have been doing for many, many years. And I think here in the States, it's been like the past like 15 years that I think people have been, or whatever, I don't know. People here have barely gotten right. used to it. I'm gonna hey, who needs Impossible Burger when you have possible jackfruit in your very own grocery store? Matt Park, everybody. Yeah. All right, so that's good. I'm over stirring this. It, it can just sit for a while. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. What's next? What are we doing? All right, Matt. Uh, now that the jackfruit is cooked, um, yes. it's kind of, it's simmering right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we can just leave it there for now. But we're going to be making tortillas right now. Okay, cool. Um, I've never made tortillas before. It's stupid easy, guys. Well, I mean, there's you got to like practice at it to make them really good. Mm -hmm. But it's just it's corn flour and hot water. Um, of course, there's nothing wrong with buying store-bought, but I figured since we're already doing this cooking show, mm -hmm. we should just cook some tortillas as well. So yeah. the only thing is if you're going to be making them yourself at home, you're going to want to get a tortilla press. And these days, guys, you can just go on Amazon. I'm sure like 20, 25 bucks will get you a tortilla press. Uh, they have wooden ones too, but I got this metal one and it works perfectly fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're just going to kind of lube it up a little bit mm -hmm, so it doesn't stick. Mm -hmm. Um, so, what is the difference between corn and flour tortillas exactly? Because I, I always forget, I, I'm stupid, I always forget which one to order <laughs> whenever I go to like a taqueria or something. Um, pretty much, I don't know, there's like, there, you know, there, there's no rules really, but okay. I think for me traditionally, tacos are corn tortillas, and if you get like flautas or fajitas or burritos, for me, I tend to think more flour tortillas, and it's just mm. literally the different type of uh, flour you use, if it's right. corn or wheat flour. Mm -hmm. But today we have this um, corn flour, and... And can you find this at like Trader Joe's and stuff, or is this from like a Hispanic market? No, well of course you can find it mm -hmm. from like a little Mexican market anywhere, but I think I got that from like Smart and Final. You oh, can go to like okay. any, any major chain will have that. Okay, um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> cool, so we're just gonna get a bowl. Um, Sweet. And we're just gonna put, oh, here we go. Doesn't gotta be, you know, a whole lot, but depending on how many you're trying to make. Okay, so like what's the general ratio of warm water to flour? Well, say? I don't know, really. Because, okay, I mean, no, yeah, no, that's it's, a fair answer, sure. It's more of like how you start, you, you'll, you know, you put the flour in the bowl, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you just kind of start working in this warm water, it's, well, hot water, really. Uh -huh, hot yeah. enough to put your hand in but not hot enough to burn yourself. Water. Ooh, I can put my hand in yeah, there. Yeah, it's like jacuzzi temperature. I would say a little cooler. I would say like, yeah, okay, yeah, jacuzzi temperature. I don't know. That's a good thing. It's hot, but it's not too hot. Let me taste that water real quick. It's water. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then you're just gonna start, you know, you're gonna put a little bit in mm -hmm. uh, and just start working with it. And you're gonna just add a little bit of water at a time while you're working with working it with your hand, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's how you you know you, you control your ratio. And what we're looking for is we're gonna make a ball, and it's gonna be smooth, but not sticky. So okay. you just gotta keep feeling it, keep working it with your hand. Here, Matt, you're gonna take over. Actually. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm um, gonna wipe my hand off. Actually, my hands are clean. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, so just keep. I. If you don't keep an eye on this, this might get totally effed up. So yeah. All right, so a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. And there's a, there's a trick that. Oh Jesus. Anybody's abuelita will tell you this trick. It's called the slap trick. Uh, it's how you know when you've needed it enough. Oh okay. I thought you were gonna slap me for a second. Just no, like... I, I will if you want me. To. <laughs> uh, if you're into that. And uh, is am I like am I being neurotic? Can I over squeeze this or should I just go to town? Does no, it matter? No, because. Uh, 
Again, I don't know if this is science or what, but I've heard many times that you want to knead uh, corn flour a lot because it takes a lot more effort for the water to absorb in the corn mm -hmm. as opposed to wheat flour, which kind of ab absorbs instantly. So you want to just, yeah, squeeze it with your hands a bunch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm sure you can over knead it, but mm -hmm. okay. you, so yeah, let's see. you're not going to, though. It still feels a little bit sticky. Yeah. So that means more water, right? Yeah, okay. and if you want to just actually just put some in your hand, just like control oh. it a little bit. It's probably more filmic that way as well. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, well that's, that's good, too much. that's good. No, don't no, add any more. Oh. Don't add any more. I can drink this water in my hand. No? no okay, I'm just, just going in. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. Just keep kneading it, and then once it stops sticking <laughs> to your hand, that's a good sign that it's good. Make sure you absorb all that. Water. There's a lot of water in there now. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, cool, cool. This does take me back to making Play-Doh as a kid. I think you mentioned that earlier, it too. It does have, like, I think good masa has, like, a, the airiness of, like, Play-Doh. Mm. Yeah, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, if you're going to be making tamales, um, this is essentially the same thing, except you might want to add, well, we're not going to add lard for the, the, the vegan aspect of it, but... Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, you know, the so fluffiness. Is, right? is it right for it to just all be stuck to my fingers? Like it? Not quite. Keep kneading it. Okay, keep kneading it. Okay. Yeah. Just got to push past. Yeah, and maybe like, roll it happening. into a ball, actually. Okay, I can do that. Patrick, do you want to come in and like, yeah, can and, uh, get a close-up of, of what we're doing? <laughs> it feels stickier than before. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know, guys, cooking is a lot like life. Uh, Sometimes it's stickier than you want it to be. Here, I'm just gonna add oh, okay. a oh. little bit more so it'll absorb. Also, some what of that. I just said about life makes no sense, but uh, <laughs> that's it. That's all you need. Just a little sprinkle. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's just it, it, we're, we're eyeballing it. So, um, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna so, add a little bit. More, okay, actually. cool. Um, by the way, my hands in general are very sweaty, so that is definitely adding a little bit of flavor to well, this. Well, we all washed our hands before this. Yes. Uh, and I'm assuming you washed your hand before this. I mean, at a certain point in my life, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't okay, know. So now start getting into a ball. Should I use both hands? Yeah, yeah. It? Okay. Yeah, use both hands. Um, there you go. It definitely smells and like just... a tortilla now. I can yeah. smell it. It smells great. Okay. Hand it to me. Oh. <laughs> Slap test, guys. Oh, okay. Oh. It's not sticking. I think, oh, it's sticking a little bit. All right, slap it in here, baby. I'm just gonna put a little bit more masa in your hand. There we go, Okay. a little bit more. And masa just means corn flour? Yeah, that's basically. just like the Spanish word for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just fat. <laughs> All right, well, this is... <laughs> This is no longer vegan. Uh, if you're following our recipe, be sure to gleek into your dough as you are. Uh, I slap it back into it. my hand. Okay. There we go. Oh, God. That's feeling like good dough right there. <laughs> Masai, I mean. I hope, you caught that. I hope you caught the saliva spraying out. That was pretty cool for me. All right, Matt, can you fire up the uh, little jet boil that we have here? Sure. I actually okay. don't know how to. Do I just turn it? Yeah, just twist it till you hear it. Okay. There you go. That's good. Yeah, let me just get, get the lighter to it right there. Whoa. Hopefully you guys have a kitchen with a stove. Oh. We're doing this in our studio, and we don't have a kitchen here. But yeah, like we are, by it. the way, yeah, we are in a cool, like, music studio slash, I mean, obviously there's a sound stage here, but. Shout out to Studio 637, everybody, for letting us do this here. Yeah, this Without awesome. a kitchen. Okay, so we're gonna let that get hot for a second. And, uh, okay, so let me clear the view for you guys a little bit. Patrick, do you want to come in and just get a closer angle of what we're about to do? So I lube this up with a little olive oil. And, oh guys, you're going to want to put some plastic wrap on your tortilla press if you're going to do, do it like this. Because otherwise it's going to be a mess, it's going to stick to the metal. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get like slightly less than a ping pong ball worth of dough. Masa, I mean. Right there. Stick that bad boy right in the middle. Um, boom, 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 there you go. And we're gonna let that get a little bit more hot. 
There we go. And Matt, do you want to? Actually, I'll probably do this. Yeah, you should go for it. I, uh, I don't trust myself. <laughs> and this is kind of a janky situation here, guys, but we're going to slap this on right there. As you can see, I'm going to call that rustic. OK. I feel like that just means like. That means I screwed up. Right. That's like a new buzzword <laughs> for like, oh, yeah, my muffins are rustic because. Yeah, exactly. So you're just going to let that cook for, you know, not very long. You obviously want to be uh, paying attention to it. Um, you'll hear the air popping and escaping. OK. And so that's just you just you got to listen for it. You know, yeah. there's no it's not like a pancake where. Um... Yeah, there's really no visual indicators on like when it's ready, mm -hmm. but. Um, I see that I see the edge getting a little brown there. Yeah, yeah, it'll start to brown a little bit and it'll get firm. You'll know after trial and error if you try to lift it and flip it and it breaks, it's not done yet. Okay, so. and I know we're using kind of a little mini gas stove here, but like how hot usually are you cooking these tortillas? Again, you know, like medium. You don't want it too low. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it. It's just, you know, you want it to cook. Right. You want no more than a minute per side. Sure. I guess. You want like a little bit of browning, right? right? Yeah. Most tortillas have some brown on there. Yeah, right? exactly. You want some brown spots on there. Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh oh. Get that out of there. Yeah. What is that? All right. Let's see now. There we go. All right. We're gonna flip that bad boy. Ooh. Yep. Again, guys, we are using my cast iron from when I go camping. <laughs> Hopefully, you'll have stainless steel or like nonstick, and you won't mm -hmm. get this, you know, debris from the last time I went to Joshua Tree on but here. You know what? Much like my spit, it just adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi, just a little <laughs> authenticity to your meal. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Luckily, because of movie magic, we made some tortillas before uh, we started filming, so mm -hmm. uh, we'll have some prettier ones to work with. Um, but this guy is almost done. You know, you want it pliable. You don't want to cook it to where it's hard because then you got like a, a tostada at that point. Or not really. It'll, it'll just be gross. Mm. And so you want it to be pliable. And this is a two-step process, guys. Again, store-bought tortillas are fine. But if you're going to be doing it this way, mm -hmm. you're going to want to get either a towel or tin foil or something to insulate the tortillas that you're making. I got this handy-dandy little sleeve guy my grandma got me. Right, because I'm no expert, but... Putting them in a towel or a thing like this, that allows them to cook further, right? After you've already Yeah. So the heat them on the, the heat from them being in the pan will just kind of steam it all together. Right. And it keeps them hot. Like we did this like maybe 45 minutes ago, guys, and it's still pretty hot to touch. I suppose to put uh, hands in there. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, and this guy is done for all intents and purposes. There we go. That's good. We're gonna toss that in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Turn this guy off. Whoa. Yep. <laughs> off. <laughs> All right, guys, so we've had this jackfruit simmering. It's been done for a while, but we, we're just keeping it hot here on the pan. And so now we're going to make the tacos, Matt. Cool. Yeah. So I can do that. with the tortillas that we just made, we want to grab. Uh, actually, I'll grab this guy yeah, right here. Grab a here. pretty one. Yeah, we'll, we'll make two. So these were the prettier ones that we made earlier, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and if, you, you know, if you're familiar with cast oh, iron. That smells good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you use cast iron a lot, then you'll know that like, you know, you're going to get some like black debris here and there. But uh, after you cook a while with it, then it'll get better. So we made these ones. These are like four or five tortillas in. I think they're pretty on point, taqueria style. You'll see how pliable they are, which is key because you don't want that falling apart. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're just going to get um, a healthy amount of jackfruit. Okay, there while you're go. doing that, that's we'll, actually. Here, I'll grab some, of our, there some white go. onions, right? We got some white onions here. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. we chopped up some onion earlier, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we also. Um, some salsa, right? And some guacamole. Yeah. That we made. I, earlier, yeah, earlier today in my apartment, I made some salsa and guacamole. Um, in later episodes, guys, I will be showing you how to make salsa. It's super easy if you have a blender. And guacamole, you don't even need a blender. Equally easy. And uh, if you don't already know, guys, if you want to keep guacamole from turning brown, lots of citrus and keep the pit in with it. That keeps it from turning brown. Mm. All right, let's give that a nice uh, freshen up here. All right, I'm going to turn this off. All right, onions. Cool. I'll put the onions right here. Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's just add some onion, guys. Oh, hey, wait a minute. What's up? What about our friend cilantro? Oh, yeah, I cilantro. totally forgot. Okay, get this you out. can't have onion without cilantro, guys. Mm -mm. 
Or in, unless you're the type of person where cilantro tastes like soap or whatever. Just power then, through it. It's that's good. unfortunate. Yeah, power through it. Cilantro's good for you. Mm -hmm. Get a good healthy amount on there, guys. I there you go. Like I'm doing something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matt, you want to get a good, a good dollop of guacamole on there? Mm-hmm. There you go. Washing. Sound effects, guys. Oh, am I supposed to be doing sound effects? No, but I can hear the guacamole sloshing around, and it's great. Oh, okay. Let me try a sound effect, though. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't use that. <laughs> um, okay, so... Oh, oh spoon. No, we're using it. Okay. Oh, right. Cool. Okay, salsa. Yeah, this is just some habanero tomato salsa that I made earlier today. Mm -hmm. Again, it's super easy, and in a later episode, I will show you guys how to yeah, make it. Yeah, I tried both of these earlier today, and they're so... Am I allowed to curse? Can I curse? They're just so... They're so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, these are done, guys. Here, let's, let's get a beauty shot of them. You want to get that Osmo, Patrick? Mm. Let's get that pit out of here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clean all this. Clean all this <laughs> off. There you go, guys. Let me pick it up for you. There you go. Jackfruit carnitas in taco form. Matt, do you want to take the first bite? Uh, I and would be honored to. Tell yes. me what you think. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good. Oof. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It tastes like, no, it's like, it really hits my face. It feels like someone's rubbing my face with a towel. <laughs> on a more serious note. No, it tastes yeah. really good. The texture of it is like spot on. Meat. I'm spitting again, but the, um, <laughs> he's salivating. Is I'm what he's salivating. doing. Um, let's, and let's with the salsa and the guac and the onion, let's try it out. Um, it's almost it's almost like weird. It doesn't feel like because um, I mean I oh, tried yeah, a little good. bit. Of, I tried a little bit of the jackfruit by itself, and it tasted mm -hmm. good, definitely. But in the context of a taco, it's like um, it's, it's almost completely. I don't want to say different. It just. I think that's for really anybody good. out there that's that's used to the carnivore, you mm -hmm. know, you want meat in every meal. Honestly, I, I for me this satisfies that mm -hmm. that sense mm -hmm. of like, oh, there's there's meat in my taco, but it, it's a fruit and it tastes like carnitas. Yeah. Um, Cole. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Cole, he's our uh, technical director here at the studio. He's also all around tech guru. He is a carnivore. Yeah. By no stretch of the imagination. This guy loves meat, only meat. He will take lettuce off his burger and throw it behind his shoulder. because we, he... we had a shoot where we got bean substitute burgers, and I just ate the bread. Yeah. Oh, I was there for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so, yeah, that's insane. <laughs> with that in mind, do you want to try a bite? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick it up and try it. All right, let's go. Ooh, that's also spicy. Yeah, habaneros. I'm, I'm putting a lot of trust into you right now, Dylan. <sighs> I'll quit if you don't like it. Right, right, right. Mm, spit, really a little, yeah. spit a little bit, spit a little you bit. You want to just try so, like really a, a piece of the jackfruit by itself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, wow, that salsa really brings a hell of a kick. <laughs> oh, right. yeah, you're not too much of a spice guy. Not really, no. Mm. Okay. Not much but of a spice But just the jackfruit guy. by itself. Looks really good. Yeah, you Looks know? really good, yeah. It kind of, like, you know, it has that yeah, texture of, like, actually really tender meat. Right. Yeah. That I think people often try to get when they're actually cooking meat, but it's really easy to overcook it. But with jackfruit, it kind of just softens up and softens up. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It tastes really good. It doesn't taste like a fruit. It yeah. Tastes like, it tastes like a meat. Yeah. It's uh, weird, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's Patrick. really good though. Yeah, yeah. Patrick, come on here. All right. By the way, everybody, Patrick, while we were setting this all up, he was he was digging his fingers in the guacamole. I, he could, was, I literally couldn't help myself. Every he was Dylan, drooling all over the floor. Every time Dylan makes mm -hmm. food, it's just... I, I want to make, can I make another one? Well, uh, okay, I'll let that here. We got to get a mic on you too. Oh yeah, okay, I'm trying it right now. Ooh, that, that line of spit, that was so mm. cinematic. Mm -hmm. Oh God, screw you guys. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, that is, whoops. All right, everybody, that yeah, is, that is uh, that's, that's the jackfruit carnitas. Um, it's kind of a, uh, Chaotic experience, but this is the episode number one. So I uh, hope you guys like the video. We got some tortilla chips. I'm just gonna go ham on on all this right now. Matt, do you want to have some more? 
Uh, yes, definitely. Uh, All right, let's get some plates. Okay, ooh, yeah. All okay. right, guys, we're going to keep eating. Uh, hope you guys like the video. There's going to be more. If you guys like it, there's definitely going to be more. Um, again, I'll show you guys how to make guacamole, salsa, uh, not just Mexican food. Don't worry, there's, there's other things. I just yeah. really like Mexican food, though. So. Hey, I can make some pancakes. Maybe that'll show up in the maybe that'll show up in the channel, you know? Maybe I'll make pancakes or uh, we're just gonna go ham on this guy. So uh, hope you like the video. Um, again, make it however you want. The kitchen is yours. See ya.